We have issues when everyone lives together. You have to have a big heart. You have to be very, very accommodating. And you have to understand your view is only but an opinion. That's all. It's not to be dictated upon. Do you want to live nicely? Do you want to be happy? I promise you, you make others who live with you happy and you shall be very happy. The problem with us, everyone is selfish. My view, that's it. We're selfish. The father's selfish, mother selfish, brother, wife, the other one, the children, the other wife, the other brother. What are you doing all living all like this when you don't have the patience? Develop the patience. Sometimes circumstances make us live together. If that is the case, learn to respect people. Give them their freedom. Don't burden them with something extra over and above what is generally expected of them. You know what I'm saying? Will probably be affecting a lot of us here. Because we're about to enter Ramadan. I want it to be a beautiful Ramadan. You have your daughter-in-law. Every day you bring along 10 people. Come on, she's a human being. Make it once, twice. That's it. Every Eid. The same daughter-in-law. Every Eid. It's expected of her to cook for 50 people. Whenever is she going to have the day to have an Eid? And we blackmail her spiritually by telling her, this is your Jannah. Your Jannah, you could have said, okay, my Jannah is I'm going to buy some food from outside and put my pride wherever it belongs. And I'm going to ensure that you too can have a beautiful Eid. Why are the restaurants there? For what? Why do they open on the day of Eid? Take out that money that you want to brag and boast and show about. And buy some food and let the women at home have a day off. May Allah make it easy. I see the guys are smiling. I suppose those smiling are those who own the restaurants, right? Free advert, free advertising. But it's a fact. Why? We are no longer living in a stage where you can impose on family members and whether it's your wife, your daughter-in-law, your mother, whoever else it may be, different people. Wallahi, we make them suffer and we make them believe that Ramadan is a month where you're supposed to be in the kitchen for at least seven hours. And then only will your taraweeh be accepted. And for them, it's just kul huwallahu ahad in every rak'ah. Allah forgive us. Wallahi, it's a sin, it's a crime. They also need to read Quran. They also need to get close to Allah. Come on, be considerate. And we go to our friends' houses every day and we sit and we, you know, there are people who are, who might be, might be cursing you. When is this guy going to leave? Subhanallah. I remember when I was a kid, some of you might have heard this, me say it again, it's come to my mind just now. When I was a kid, we went to someone's house with my mother. And as we we're entering, we saw this sign. The sign says, we are very happy at your arrival, but we will be even happier when you depart. Oh, wow. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. It means you need to know how long you're going to stay here. We never went back to that house. My mother didn't want. And I'm trying to explain to her, you know what? It's just a joke. Come on. It's just a sticker to laugh. But in reality, it's true for everyone. We're happy you came. But if you overstay, we're going to be happier when you go. And the next time you come, we're going to send the child out to say, my daddy said that I must come out and tell you that he's not at home. <laughs> yeah, subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, you need to know things. You need to understand things. And I really believe that we have a connection, and not just with us, we have a duty unto all those whom we live with, Muslim and non-Muslim. We have a duty unto them. And we are, we are supposed to be from among those who really care for each other. I want this month of Ramadan to be a month with a difference for myself and for everyone. And I told you how to start it. We've been fasting all along. We've been reading Quran, etc., etc. This time, learn to develop your character during the month of Ramadan. Your conduct, be the best husband, the best man. The best woman, the best wife, the best mother, the best mother-in-law, the best father, the best daughter-in-law. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you.